today we're going to look at how to sort by date in Google Sheets. So if you have a single column of data with dates, it's very easy to sort. You can just click and drag to select your data, right click, view more cell actions and sort range. And then you can pick ascending or descending. So ascending with dates will put the oldest at the top. So we click OK, see the oldest at the top, most recent at the bottom, barring some exceptions that we'll cover in a second. And if you do the reverse, Z to A, then you can see the most recent at the top. So this one's the outlier. It's because it actually is text at the beginning. And so the way Google sorts is they do numbers first and then text. And so if we actually convert this to a number, then it will sort correctly in the data. And you can see in both cases, blanks wound up at the bottom. So if we wanted to handle this, we'd have to change this to an actual date. And then if we went to sort, it would then sort correctly into the data. All right, so typically we're not using a single column data. We have multiple columns like this over here. And so if we try to sort a single range in the same way, where we select the column and then hit sort range, it's only sorting that data without regard to the data around it. And so we can't use the same method. And so we have to use a different method to now sort the whole range. So an easy alternative is very similar. So just click on any cell in that column, make sure that the top rows are frozen. And so you can drag this drag bar down if it's up here, down here, or you can do freeze um, two rows, just like that. Once you have that done, you can simply go to data and sort sheet, and then it'll automatically tell you the column that you had your cursor in a cell selected. So now we can do column D and you can see now it's sorted all the data. If we go back to here and do Z to A, now it sorts descending by date. You will notice again that ones without dates automatically go to the bottom. And one thing as we noted with the single column, if there's non-date data in there, such as April 4th, that doesn't render to a date, you may want to add some data validation. And so you can do that simply by going here, data validation, add a rule, and then make sure valid date. And you can see now it highlights that April 4th is not a valid date. And so then we can prompt, we can pull that in either through the pop-up or we can type it in just like that. Now I'll help you validate if you have any improper dates that won't sort correctly with the rest of your data. So another thing you can do if you want to sort by multiple columns is you can select a chunk of data. Make sure you select all of it. Then you can go over here to sort range and you can sort by multiple columns. So as you can see here, you can use the top row as well, and you can select that. So for example, if we go here and we select the top row as well, go back to sort range and say data has header row, and then it'll show you the column headers when you do your sort columns. So for example, here we could sort by closed date. We could do most recent at the top, and then we could sort by salesperson A to Z. And if we hit sort, now it's sorted the most recent at the top. And for each similar date, then it sorts by the salesperson. We did this from the right click and sort range. You can also do it from here when you have it selected and you can do the advanced sort again, just like that. So another thing you can do is you can use a sort formula. And so the sort formula, you can take a column and you can just sort it just like this. And it defaults to sorting ascending. And so if we open this up, you can see the sort column. So we can select one, which is the same. And then we can determine whether we want ascending, which would be true, or descending, which would be false. And so descending would be the most recent at the top. True would be the oldest at the top. Now you can also sort multiple columns this way, which we only have a single column here in here, but we can take this whole data set and we can sort by the first column here. We can sort by one, two, three, four, 
we can sort by the date column. And now it's sorted by date. And that's ascending, so oldest, or descending, newest at the top. This also allows you then to set more columns. So we could again do our column two and true. And now it's sorting by this one first. Or we can switch this around. You can see now it's sorting reverse alphabetical order followed by date. And then another method that you can use is called a filter. And so if you have a extra header row, you can't click up here. If you do not have this extra header row, you can simply click here to select your data and then click this filter tool. But since we already have a header row here, that's not really a header, it's an extra header row. We want our first selection to be where we're going to sort, the header we're going to sort from. And so you can just select from here or you can click on here and then hold down control and then click on that one to deselect the first row. Then we can go over here and click create a filter. Once we have this selected, we can simply click on any of these and sort directly from this button. So we can sort by salesperson, opportunity type, and you can see that's a very quick and easy way to be able to sort by any individual column. One thing to note is that you can't use this to sort by multiple columns. As you can tell, there's no option to sort by multiple columns. And so if you want to sort by multiple columns, you'll, you'll have to select this all and either go from the right clicking and sort range, or you'll have to go up here to data and sort range again. All right, so let's look at a, another option here. If you have text months, you can actually sort these in order. If we use a simple formula, we're going to use the sort formula again, and we're going to grab our data. But since this doesn't natively translate into a sort, we're going to use this formula called month. And we're going to grab this, do an ampersand and one, one, and there we go. Now we're sorted from January to December. Now if we have a set of dates, we can do a simple sort. Select our data range, and it'll sort in order from oldest to most recent. Or we can do our sort column, and we can do false. Reverse order. We can also sort this same thing by month if we take that same month formula, put our column inside of it, and true. You can see now that we're sorting by month, irrespective of the year. All right, that is it for today. Tune back again soon for more tutorials.